Hello everyone, welcome back to Fair Reactions TV 2.0. My name is Day Day. Today I'm going to do finally my Q&A video for Lost. My favorite episodes, my favorite seasons, my favorite characters, you know, I'm going to rank them all. And also I'm going to let you guys know the shows that I'm going to react to next. Sometime during this video, you just have to stay tuned and watch all the way through to find out when. Now the reason why I have on these headphones is because I just got finished reacting to the epilogue. I released that the other day, so you guys have it. If you didn't watch it, go watch it, please. This first question that comes from Angie808. The only question I have for you, Day Day, is are you satisfied with the ending? Mahalo and Aloha. Yes, I was satisfied with the ending. I like that they did move on together. Um, this show for me was all about the characters and um, their journeys. And I loved at the end of it all, they all came together, the Elizabeth M. That any particular plot twist that truly blew your mind. There were so many mind-blowing things that happened in this show that I didn't expect. For one thing, the pilot episode, I did not expect to hear the monster. <laughs> that was weird, right? Is that Vincent? No, I don't think that's Vincent. It's not Vincent. No. There were so many plot twists, but if I had to choose one, seeing Jeremy, Betham, Bert, whatever, Locke, seeing Locke in that coffin, that was a twist that I did not see coming. Who is that? I did not expect to see Locke. And the way he died too. I don't know why. Ben, he's there. Huh? He's huh? gonna kill you either way. What was your absolute favorite moment in the entire six seasons of Lost? And did any character resonate with you personally? Off the top of my head, I have to go with their reunions but also the score that played you know during the scene it made made them so touching so i really loved those moments as far as the character that resonated with me the most <laughs> um i will have to say hurley i feel good na, 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 na. i knew that i would have been both big teddy bears, I guess. So, <laughs> um, answer these questions along with me throughout the entire series. Like, what were your favorite moments? And also, um, what character did you resonate with? I thought this was a great question. Thank you so much. This next question comes from OD. After the ending, I felt, I felt good because I loved the ending. At first I was sad, but they all moved on together. I felt like they sent my characters off right, um, and that's all you want. I did feel emptiness only because um, it was the end. I wish, I wish that we had more, you know, episodes because it was such a beautiful story. Um, in the first place, the characters, they were amazing. I'm going to miss them so much. Of course, I felt a little empty, but as far as the ending, I was very satisfied. Maddie, Danny, why do you think Michael wasn't in the church with the rest of them at the end? Did he not find peace? By the way, I love your reactions. Thank you so much. After watching the epilogue, the reason why I think Michael, he was not in the church, <laughs> because I think Walt, he helped to move on. You have work to do, starting with helping your father. My father's dead. Doesn't mean you can't help him. So I think Walt brought him peace and he was able to move on before everyone else did. The next question comes from Cucumber Cheese. <laughs> there were so many questions that I, you know, I was left with mainly because I need to rewatch the series. Like for one, why pregnant women die, you know, in their first or second trimester. I think it was because Juliet, when she set off that bomb. <laughs> <laughs>
Even after we got the answer, I feel like um, I didn't grab onto it. Someone did suggest for me to write down all of the questions that I had and then check them off to see, you know, if they were answered and I did not do that. I should have listened. The next question comes from Lucas Dolding. Um, do you plan on rewatching this series at any point? Yes. <laughs> Favorite relationship? I will get to that. Favorite dynamic between two characters, Locke and Jack. It's funny how Jack, he started off, you know, this series. He was the man of science to a T. Like, he had little faith. I think that's why you and I don't see eye to eye sometimes, Jack. Because you're a man of science. Yeah. What does that make you? Me? Well, I'm a man of faith. I don't believe in destiny. Yes, you do. You just don't know it yet. Towards the end, he had all this faith. And what I wished was that Locke, he was alive to see how much Jack changed. But if Locke didn't die, I feel like maybe Jack wouldn't be the person that he is or that he was. Yeah, for sure, without a doubt, Jack and Locke. They were the best dynamic for me. Where does the show rank for you out of all other television? Out of all the series that I've seen to this point so far between Game of Thrones and Lost, of course, it's really difficult. They are one, two for me. If you were stuck on the island, what four other characters would you want around you to help you with your goals? Easy, number one for me, Locke. Saeed, you know, if you need someone to, you know, handle some situations. Forget about it. I can't. Saeed to take care of it. My hands are clean. Hurley, I think he would be a lot of fun to be around. Jack, Jack, I felt like he was a good leader. Those were four, and like I said, this is off the top of my head, so I could have replaced one with an, someone else, but I think I gave you four. See, I would say Ben because he's so smart, but I don't know if I could trust him enough. I, I don't know which Ben I would get, you know what I'm saying, so. The next question is from Philip Lopez. So my favorite couple, without a doubt, was Razzle Dazzle. Ah! Razzle Dazzle. Nikki and Polo. Oh my gosh. Now y'all know I'm lying. I did enjoy Expose. I'm not going to lie. I enjoyed it for what it was. It, it was fun. It was really fun. But no, they are not my favorite couple. I'm going to give you four. <laughs> so number four for me was Rose and Bernard. They were an older couple, but I still loved them so much. I wanted them to be protected, and for the most part, they were. I just I just love older people, so. Number three, Jen and Son. I loved Jen and Son. What I loved most about their relationship, the first season, they were in trouble, and each season just got stronger and stronger, and I loved it. Number two, Penny and Desmond. They had one of the best episodes of all time. A love story. They could have made that into a movie. The Constant. So good. I'll find you, Des. I promise. No matter what. I'll come back to you. I won't give up. I promise. I promise. I, I love, love you. you. Yes. I just love their love story. And of course, number one favorite, right. Juliet and James. It's crazy. I did not see that relationship happening. Wow. Uh. It was shocking, oh. but I approved immediately. Love them. Uh, just thinking about that episode when Juliet died, it still hurt. They are for sure my number one favorite couple. My favorite season was four. Oh, and the last question, are you going to react to 13 Reasons Why season three? Well, first I need to finish season two. <laughs> you two, what confused you off when Hurley said you were a great number two? You were a real good number two. And you were a great number one, Hugo. Were. And someone did answer pretty sure it was the word were. And that is correct. I was starting to get this feeling. Like I wasn't confused. I was just like, oh my God, like, are they 
did Minister Kosh. My question some time ago around season five, I think you mentioned that you want to figure this out before the end. So did you? You know it didn't look like it when you didn't want Jack to die. Um, I stopped. Not necessarily with predicting what was going to happen because I still had my thoughts and my theories. Non-stop, I was coming up with theories left and right. I wanted to figure this out because this show is a mystery. I didn't want to, you know, walk away from the show with so many theories that it, I was going to confuse myself. You know what I'm saying? But I will say, I think I was close to figuring this out. I did have a feeling that, you know, they were all dead, but, um, did I? I don't think I did. What shocked me the most, everything that happened on that island <laughs> was real. <laughs> Number 10, I am like Jacob. He couldn't choose, so he put the Quans, and I'm going to put the Quans to <laughs> Jim and Son. Um, I love them both as a couple. If I had to choose one, Jen, he would be on this list alone without Son, but I, I had to include Son. I just had to because she had her moments as well. I know a lot of people, they hate Kate, and I'm not here to convince them otherwise, but I loved Kate. One of my favorite episodes came from her, and I remember editing that episode, and I broke down crying. That ending, it was acted perfectly. It was her best episode for sure. I just like her. I don't need to say no more. The next one is Juliet. I knew I was going to love her. It was just a feeling that I had. And if you guys remember, when she first was introduced, I said I was going to like her. I just loved her from there on out. You got it, oh, man. Number eight, Jacob. Jacob was Saeed. I did like him a lot. Season six. It wasn't his strongest season because, you know, he was sick, he was ill, but he did snap out of it before he died, unfortunately. But throughout the series, he was a strong character. James Sawyer, I didn't know if I was gonna like him at all. Um, the first few seasons, he was funny. I never stopped thinking about her. He had his moments, but I, I wasn't sure. But now I can barely remember what she looks like. And her faces. She's just gone. Number five, Desmond. It doesn't matter. You know, you're gonna lure me into that light, and I'm gonna go somewhere else. A place where we can be with the ones that we love. Hurley, he reminds me of me, a lovable teddy bear. <laughs> you're 46? Yeah. Yes, I am. So you fought in the Korean War? There's no such thing. Who's the president of the United States? All right, dude, we're from the future. Ben is number three. One of my favorite moments was when... Because he's the only one that'll have me. Alana, I think that's her name. When she told him, she'll have him. I'll have you. Oh, it was so touching. That was one of the most touching moments in the show. Season six, that was Jack's best season of the whole series. Each episode, even the flash sideways, they were amazing. I'm just so proud of Jack, for real. Uh, Nothing's irreversible. Of course, Locke, he's going to be number one. It was just something about his character. It was very special. Not just his character, but the actor. He played Locke and the fake Locke so well. So how could you not have him as number one? I've done everything you wanted me to do. So why did you do this to me? I want to go home. He's number one for sure, but I'm not going to lie, um, Jack, he gave him a run for his money. I loved Richard. Every time he showed up on screen, I wanted to know more. I just wanted to know him. And we did finally get that episode, and it was great. It felt like a movie.
Anthony. Anthony Cooper. That was his name. I'm a con man, not a murderer. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Where's the bus? We need that bus. So the last part of this video, I wanted to discuss the shows that I will be reacting to coming in a few days or maybe at the beginning of next week. Number one, Breaking Bad. I am going to start Breaking Bad. A lot of you guys requested for me to do the leftovers and that's what I'm going to do. And also, All American. But they also want me to post the full reaction on Patreon. So that's what I'm going to give them. Now the good news is, all the other shows that I have written down like Bates Motel, The 100, Supernatural, Peaky Blinders, Sense8, Fringe, Prison Break, Twin Peaks, all of those shows plus more, I'm going to get to them eventually. If I react to five or six series at once, I'm only going to give you one episode a week or so. I don't want you guys to wait too long. That was one of my pet peeves before doing this. I knew that was something I did not want to do. That was one of the things that I didn't personally enjoy, you know, watching other reactors when it took way too long to react to shows. So like I said, you guys do not be discouraged at all if I did not choose your show. I am still going to watch it. Like I said, a lot of these shows like The 100s and Bates Motel, they are shows that I wanted to react to for a long time now. But like I said, I did go off of the comments and if you look you will see all american you will see um the leftovers a lot and you guys already know i chose breaking bed so chris m thank you so much what are your top three favorite shows of all time that's really difficult for me to answer because i do not watch a lot of tv if it was not for this channel i wouldn't have watched Lost, Stranger Things, Game of Thrones for sure, The Walking Dead, none of it because I am a reality show fan. As far as like Sopranos, that's the show that you hear about. I I never watched Sopranos. I never watched Breaking Bad. I did not watch a lot of scripted shows even now. Well, because of my channel, I do. But before then, I, I didn't. So I started my channel in 2017. So <laughs> I have to give you an answer. My top three favorite shows that I've seen. Remember, that I've seen. <laughs> I'm going to give you four. How to Get Away with Murder, Stranger Things, Lost, Game of Thrones, in no particular order. I love The Walking Dead. I'm a person that loves sports. I love tennis. I love American football, which is it's football season now. That's why on Sundays, it's definitely an off day for me. I will not be posting, that's for sure. If anything, earlier that day, I will do like a reaction because I love football so much. And also baseball. And, you know, I'm a fan of basketball as well. That's a little something extra to know about me. Just in case if you were wondering, like, what did he watch? Well, I, I watched sports. I watched reality TV. American Idol was my show for the longest time, even though it declined towards the end. But I still watched it and loved it. Amazing Race, Survivor, Big Brother, MTV shows like Making the Band. And yeah, those were the shows that I watched. That's why I think I am the perfect reactor. That's what makes me excited when people, you know throw out suggestions and I'd be like, oh, I heard of that show. Never saw it. So that completes my Q&A video. I also gave you um, a little bit about me at the end here. <laughs> I hope you appreciate that. Um, it wasn't a whole lot, but I've talked for two hours and 30 minutes, you guys. I told you I am long winded. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this reaction, please give me, this is not a reaction day day. This was a Q&A video. See, I'm in that mode. I need to break out of it. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> I appreciate it. I appreciate you joining me on this journey. I will have bloopers ready for you guys soon. Um, I do want to continue on with the show as much as long as possible. So, hey, suggest blooper reels. Have them down below. 
all the lost videos that you want me to react to, just put them down below and I will take note of them and I will react to them. I need to put together a schedule. When I release Breaking Bad, that first video I will have a schedule made. If you are not a fan of Breaking Bad, what I will do is also create a post and um, I will share the schedule with all my subscribers. And you don't have to necessarily watch Breaking Bad in order to get the schedule. Make sure you click on that notification bell so you will be notified when I make a post or when I release a video. Thank you so much again. Until next time, everyone, you have a great day. Bye.